I have a quick tip for you this evening. So I decided I would just pop on here. It's um, a problem that I ran into tonight while I was creating some cards and I wanted to share this tip with you. So you know how you like to purchase those dies that, ha that are very intricate. I've got a few of them, even this uh, sunflower, the mini medallions look how intricate that is the ornate layers they're also very intricate i mean they're beautiful but how do you get them to stick to cardstock here's the christmas layers the detailed hearts so i'm going to show you <clears throat> so you so here's my card stock I mean here's my card and here's the intricate detailed cutout so how am I going to put this on my card because I don't want to use I don't want to just put glue on the back of it because it'll show through and I don't want to use um I don't want to use dots because I don't want those to show through either. And I don't want to use tape because it will also show through. So here's the trick. Get your, you'll need your adhesive. It's on page 162. Here we go. Okay. So you'll need to get the multi-glue. Uh, multi-purpose liquid glue and then you're also going to want your silicone craft sheet then once you've got that then pick up some let's see here of the stamping sponges so when i use these stamping sponges not only do i use them for coloring but I also use them for gluing and adhering stuff down. So here's my silicone craft sheet. Now this craft sheet is amazing because glue won't stick to it. The um, stamp and seal won't stick to it. No, no adhesives will stick to this and you can clean it off. <clears throat> Typically you just rub it off and it just kind of balls up. But here's, here's the tip. Now I have got a, a round sponge, which I have cut down and I put one of these butterfly clips on it just to make it easier to hold. So I can take this off. There, it gets those out of the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the multi-purpose glue and I'm gonna put a big glob of it on here. Okay, and then let's just spread this around. I want to get it thin and I don't want I don't want it to be white. So this dries pretty clear. So now I'm just going to put this on the back of this die cut out. And just you can just put it all over it. You don't have to worry about it showing through because it's so thin and plus the multi-purpose glue dries clear. So once you've got that, then you can go ahead. Let's see, get this out of the way. Then you can go ahead and adhere it to your card. down and just make sure that you get it all the way down all the corners all the edges and everything see there that's all it takes isn't that amazing and then you can put this in an, a little container and just keep it like this you don't have to rinse it out or anything you can use it a few times before you rinse it out so but yeah just keep that handy and your silicone craft sheet handy and this works every time. I figured this out tonight. I needed it. So 
I just wanted to share that with you. Um, also, this is a good trick for uh, gluing down vellum because you don't want the glue dots to show through on the vellum. So if you do the same technique with the vellum, it works the same way. So there you go. Thanks a lot. Bye.